Kalev Kramo of Tallinn against Tofas Bursa from Turkey. And this group is just about done. It is just about to fulfill fixtures at this stage. Hello from Will Downing. Kalev, bottom of the group, one win out of five games. They are definitively out. Tofas Bursa, four wins out of five, are definitively through to the last 16. Strasbourg and Estelle. to Valmera by 33 points earlier in the competition. Melson has been Silas Melson, a top scorer in three of the first five games. Norga and Davion Berry have top scored in subsequent matches against Descendant at Strasbourg, but they have lost them both. It's an 81-77 victory for Kalev Kramer when these sides met in Turkey in October. A four-point margin, 81-77. Melson top-scoring for Kalev Kramer with 24 points. Cruz entered 17 for Tobas, but they just drifted right towards the end. Tofas Pursa is playing in the following lineup. Number zero, Emmet Alisson. Number one, Emre Tanishin. Number two, Turkish International, Tomislav Subcic from Croatia. Number four, Berke Pugutsai. Number five, Berk Ulru. Number six, Yigi Darslan. Number nine, Paco Cruz. Number 11, Jeremy Simmons. Number 23, Elchi Cook. And number 77, Musim Yaza. Head coach of the team, Ahmed Shaki. Assistant coaches, Yaltsin Kutschukskan and Ömer Bakhjur. And now, ladies and gentlemen, there is the one and only Petsa Kalev Kramo playing in following lineup. Number zero, Silas Melson. Silas Melson's just one. come from. Belgium and Limburg United. Nikon Lewis to Rabbit Hasherall. Boyar Silis. To Cyprus. Number eight, Kalev Kurbas. Number 30, Gregor Hermet. Number 14, Christian Kongul. Number 15, Damian Berry. Number 20, Ronan Mulger. Number 21, Camry. Number 22, the captain Martin Korbeck. Number 24, Heger Tolle. And number 33, Christian Kitsi. Head coach of the team, Robert Stelmhurst. 
assistant coaches Eden Greenbock and Axelis Wairos. Kalev Kramer were beaten in the Estonian Cup final at the weekend by University of Tartu. A massive shock, 82 to 73. And it was played in this stadium, Kalev's home venue, the Kalev Sports Hall. And the referees for this are Semen Ovinov, Vladimir Yevtovic and Peter Prax from Russia, Serbia and Hungary, respectively. It's been a mixed season for Tofas Bursa. They're climbing back up the rankings again. Fourth last season, but struggling this. And as a result, Hakan Demir dismissed as coach. At the end of November, replaced by Ahmet Chaki, who's back for his second spell in charge. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is my honor to Kalev Kramer currently ninth in the VTV United League across many Eastern European nations. Ninth with a three and six record. But domestically, in the merged Latvian and Estonian League, they're third with a seven and one record, beaten in the cup final, and there is a an Estonian series that comes up at the end of the regular season of the Latvian Estonian leagues where the uh, top Estonian teams break away and fight off for the Estonian championship as well. They are the defending champions in that, they're the defending champions in the Latvian Estonian league and they finished 10th in the VTB United League last season, they are ninth in it now. The starting five for Topaz Bursa, Emre Tanishan, Burke, Walu, Paco Cruz, Jamie Simmons, and Elgin Cook. Ahmet Chaki back as coach. He's been Turkey's assistant coach for the past three years, but now back in the club scene in tandem with that previously Tofash coach from 2012 to 2014. The starting five for Kalev Krava, Jaquan Lewis. Oh yeah, Sinin, Stavian Berry, Rano Nurga and Christian Kitsik. So away we go as Kalev Kramo in the white and Tafas Bursa in the green to wrap up their respective campaigns in Group F. Playing pretty much for pride and for seeding. Kalev Kramo also playing to do the double over Tafas, which would be a 
a remarkable thing considering how well they performed in this group. Tofash beat a Stender at home in person. Their opening game by 92 to 83. They edged that really narrow classic two point victory in Strasbourg. First foul called. Jeremy Simmons winning the jump ball, then fouled by Nurga, and now from the free throw line. First foul against Nurga then. The Estonia International, and well, Simmons has missed both. But Kalev have the first foul against them tonight. Here's Davion Berry towards Jaquan Lewis. Berry again. It's a lovely tight venue. It's where Caleb Cramo played their qualifying matches, and it was full to the brim to see them win three out of three and qualify for this competition. But the shot clock has wound down. Tartu University had led for a lot of the cup final in this stadium on Sunday. Mark Rosenthal, their highest scorer with 19. Christian Kitzing, top scorer overall in the final for Kelov. He scored 26. It wasn't enough. That's a nice angle to put home and Top Asher into the lead. And put there by Elgin Cook. The first score of the night. Sets up, Norga remains under the basket. That's a really effective block. Oh, and an even better rejection that time by Jeremy Simmons. Fantastic, the original block by Tanishan, but the second one was even better. Top hatch Persa driving forward. Norga having missed the original two-point shot. Just in touch. And Caleb Cromo have the sideline. 12 times champions of Estonia. That league now reconstituted. And the qualifiers for the closest stages of that run through the now merged uh, Latvian Estonian League. Seven times cup winners there as well. And it remains seven times cup winners. And the three point shot draws the foul. Kitsing bundled over, who was so prolific in the cup final here on Sunday. Just a shame for him that some of his teammates weren't at the same standard. Cruz caught him, that's a foul that will yield three attempts. And Kitsing it is. And he's got the first. And one more to come. Kitsing has got three out of three, and Kalev lead. They've uh, been around since 1998. There is a Tallinn at Kalev club as well. Nothing confusing about that. Uh, they beat them in a Tallinn derby by 28 points a few weeks back in the domestic league, and that was an away game. Back, Awolu with the tee up. Nice finish by the Topaz Bursa captain. That's a brilliant venue. The Estonia home matches have been here on occasion as well. And the uh, Saku Sur Hall, which holds about six times the capacity. And Nurga has scored and he's drawn the extra shot as well. And Kalav Kramer lead again. Nice layup, bumped, scored. Foul. And he's made it. Three points for Nurka, and that's the first foul called against Jeremy Simmons and the second against Tofash. Uwurlu again, a Euro League winner in 2017 with Fenerbahce and three league titles, two cups. That's who Tofash 
are always fighting against the best of Istanbul, and that's a beauty. That's the best we've seen tonight from Jeremy Simmons, a long range two to tie it up at six apiece. Level for the second time already. Is it going to be one of those nights? Jaquan Lewis. Former high school quarterback he was once upon a time. And that is a magnificent three-pointer from Olyaz Sinic. The Latvian rattles in the first three of the night. Paco Cruz, foul against them already, and he's got this one out wide in the attempt by Elgin Cook. The three-pointer didn't drop. Kalev Kramov already made one of those work tonight. Brilliantly so, too. On the turn, another chance at two falling for Nurga. This is Jaquan Lewis once more. Has support from Christian Kitzing alongside him. Shot clock running down to five in the paint. Shot needs to come now, it'll be three. Attempt from Berry and he missed it. Chance for three for Cruz this time and he hasn't scored either. It's a really busy night in terms of the basketball Champions League. Loads of games everywhere. Keep you posted with as much as we can. Lewis fouled. Good defensive rebound originally claimed by uh, Davion Berry and Jaquan Lewis. Bring it on. Caleb Kramer making a couple of. Early changes, Burke Awurlu with the foul against them, by the way. That's his first of the night, and it's the third against Tufaj in this opening quarter, and there's still five minutes left in it. Jaquan Lewis going again and scoring. Nice from Jaquan Lewis. Gregor Hermit and Kamari Murphy are in for Christian Kitzing and Rano Noga for now. Nice little turn by Jeremy Simmons once more. Kamari Murphy from the United States. Kogo Helmet, a little bit more local. Turnover against Paco Cruz for his ball handling and off his Berka Worley for the moment. Casey Shepard is in. Oh, that was wayward. And Craig O'Hermet kept going forward and wasn't expecting it back that far. Bit of a giveaway, the turnover and tough house get possession back. Well, yeah, Sillings gone for the moment after that turnover. His bad pass, which uh, flew well behind Craig O'Hermet. Sillings could be a spectator for the next few minutes off the back of that. Decent break, could score, and Tofas getting really effectively. Tano Korbas and Silas Melson coming in. Cook could score again. He's got four points to his name now. He's the highest scorer for Tofas at the moment. Travelling. That was a bit messy. Against him. So Martin draw back in for Jaquan Lewis from a Caleb Cramo point of view. Good assist that was by Simmons a few moments ago, by the way, for Elgin Cook's layup. And now a chance for three for Paco Cruz. And he's taken it. The first one that Tuffish Bus have got tonight. Paco Cruz ties it up at 11 each. We're level for the third time tonight. Had but a five point lead for.
Kalev. Not anymore, it's not. Sofash had a very early lead. They got the first score of the contest. And now they can go ahead again for a foul on Paco Cruz. All came from the original good steal by Casey Shepard, who was being held up by Martin Dorbeck. Dorbeck wasn't off the court for long, back in for Jaquan Lewis. Paco Cruz drawing the foul off Martin Dorbeck. So the second foul committed by Kalev, but they've been made pay. And Tofash lead again. Paco Cruz, four points for him now. He's got two out of two. Decent scoring from the Mexico International. Got a really good, vibrant lead as well, and they uh, have hosted quite a lot of NBA regular season games, particularly this time of year. Murphy, well found by Melson. Melson again, trying to step inside. Murphy under the rim, having a look, and he got the rebound too, and effectively, here's Martin Dorbeck trying to put right those couple of errors he's made in the last few minutes. Silas Melson on the way, and Silas Melson scoring for Caleb. It's 13 all, and we're level for the fourth time in this opening quarter. It has been a nice bit of ebb and flow, really. And Casey Shepard under the basket had the chances. Sent flying, was he? By Dorbeck. Here we go again. Dorbeck with another foul. That is the second of the quarter. It's the second of Caleb's three. And that's three points now given away. Casey Shepard with his first one of the night. Two out of two. Good scoring by Shepard, nice accuracy. And Paco Cruz can sit down for the moment, and Burke Awurlu is back on. 2.54 to go in this opening quarter, and Talent. Dorbeck getting it out wide. Melson, here's a chance for three. It'll be just slightly short. Almost looked as if it would be, really. Still managed to get a little bit of extra air and hit the rim. I didn't think it was going to get that far, frankly. That's a bouncer, and it's in from Melson. Took a while to drop, but it did. Tied up again, 15 all. Decent three-point try, but it just didn't drop that time for Cruz. It's Mark Dorbeck again, short for Silas Nelson. Nelson holding it up. Actually, it was Tanisan who missed that three-pointer. Nelson puts it away, and Caleb Carmo lead again, and there's really good flow to this game. Top outs have had a couple of spells leading, and Caleb as well. And they're currently on a 50% run, 6 out of 12 in terms of their two-point tries. That would have helped the three-point ratio of Tofash a little more. Casey Shepard missing, though. In terms of the three-pointers, they've tried five, only got one so far. That's one out of four for Caleb Gramo today. Here's Silas Melson again. Melson lost control! And that is a Tofash ball. 79 seconds left in this opening quarter. A Wurlu lost it, quick turnover. Now they could be in a spot of bother here, really tough bash, and they are. Oh boy, are they! Kurbas putting it home, an exquisite score. 
19 to 15, the lead is four, and that's as big a lead as Caleb have had already. And Curvis took it on and broke his duck. Hey, focus one on one again. Tutma topu. Short ole oynadın çıkmadı niye tutuyorsun? Bir daha çağır olmadı. Anladın mı? Tamam. Doesn't matter whatever we play. He is in the, in the game now. How many one on one? One on one everybody. Let's go. Now they know the name of the game. Well informed. Four point advantage for Caleb Cramo. Topaz had been fouling very heavily in the opening couple of minutes, but they've cleaned up their act since then. This is back. Uwulu again, and he's lost it, and it's another turnover against him and Topaz, and they will be punished by Kurbas again. Four points to Tanel Kurbas in this opening quarter, and that's the biggest lead the Caleb have had so far tonight. Just as Topaz were looking to cut the margin down to two or to one, they missed out, and they've missed out again here. Shot which was unsuccessful. Nelson biding his time, he'll run the clock down. Costly miss, maybe, by Zubcic, just in terms of the first quarter at least. Kamari Murphy got the defensive rebound. Nelson going for something long. He bided his time, he took his time, and he'll do it again. Aiming for the buzzer beater that he got so close to achieving. That ended up being probably closer than the shot that he was sizing up for about 10 seconds. But anyway, at the end of the first quarter, in talent, it is Kalev Kramo, 21, Turfas Bursa, 15. Kalev very effective from the two-point shooting so far. Turfas, look at the small amount of attempts they've had in terms of two pointers to date. Second quarter underway, very effective opening 10 minutes for Kalev Krama, and they just seem to have had tough ass versus number so far in this competition when no one else has. That was a brilliant block though by Subchinch as Kitsin was looking to play inside. <laughs> Only seven left on the shot clock, though, for the Tallinn side, the Estonian champions. That was a bit of a waste.
by Christian Kangur. Estonian international who's come into the squad in the past few months. Topaz running out of time in the shot clock, that sub chitch isn't worried about that, it's a superb three-pointer, and they've halved the deficit. Sub chitch with a gorgeous effort. It's only their second of the entire contest, and only the third we've had full stop. Pushed out wide by Melson originally, and now he's picked it up again well from Christian Kangor. Absolutely gorgeously put away by Silas Melson. He's come through Jefferson High School and Portland, Oregon, and Gonzaga College as well. Melson currently top scoring on eight, and was their top scorer in three, their first three contests in the Basketball Champions League this season. Casey Shepard off again for the moment. Held on by Jaquan Lewis. And here's Silas Nelson. And Nelson just being bumped slightly by Burke. Owolu, the top ash captain. Fourth the highest finish in years. They won back to back league titles in 99 and 2000. And another foul called the second time against Awolu. It's the first of this quarter. Five between the healthy margin from Caleb's viewpoint. Jaquan Lewis. Lewis goes for the three directly, and in the act of shooting, he's been bundled over, and it was right at the end of the shot clock, and it was needless. It was Yazar coming in, and he couldn't pull out. Musin Yazar, that's his first foul. It was a three-point shot. He's uh, got to be punished from the free throw line here. Two more. Lewis with one miss, but he's got the second. Last one. Play. Good scoring from Lewis, it is a seven-point lead, and that is their largest advantage so far tonight. Largest advantage anyone has had today. Attempts for Yigid Arslan. Kitsin coming in and... And Yiwit Arslan. Foul by Kitsing. Kitsing's first foul of the night. 30 years old now. They've only got three players in their 30s and only one over the age of 30, Caleb Kramer. So they've kept the recycling of incoming youth and decent overseas talent progressing down through the years. Here's Jaquan Lewis coming across towards Christian Kangor again. Lewis. Still 10 seconds left in the shot clock, no panic yet. Now there's five in the shot clock, now there's four in the shot clock, and Simmons bundled into him. Arm was coming out. Lewis running into him. Foul number two against Jeremy Simmons. He's got two, or were Lewis two. Top pass now of, again, rattle up three very quick fouls against them in this quarter as well. And they trail by seven. Here's Jaquan Lewis. Oh, it was just a bit too slippery and slidey, but Kangor is slid into score.
and the advantage is now nine. It's been some start for Caleb Grammer. So top action when there were two points up and now nine points down. Oh, but that'll do a little world of good for Paco Cruz all the way through to score. Through the foul against Jaquan Lewis as well, he did. But look at that for three. Fabulous by Damian Berry. His first score of the night, and it's a three-pointer as well. Has it gone down as two? It's gone down as two. And it still gives them the advantage of nine again. Their joint biggest of the night. And a defensive rebound coming too for Christian Kangor as the long attempt was missed. You with Arslan. Everything's going right for Caleb Kramer so far. And then some! What an absolutely fabulous score by Igor Tala. He's got his first score of the night, and that's a three-pointer. Everything's coming up roses for Caleb at the moment. They lead by 12, and that was absolutely fantastic. Halla gets the three. Troublesome times for Tofash Bursa. They trail by 12. The only team to beat them so far in this season's Basketball Champions League. Tofash went out in the second group stage, the round of 16 last season. The chance of a turn by Jeremy Simmons, but he can't get at home either, and it's Kitsing against the defensive rebound, and Caliph Kramer on the move forward again. Shaquan Lewis. That's the port inside from Raudo Nuga. Tabby on Berry. Berry bringing it through, and Uwurlu got the last touch, flicked it away to prevent the score. But it hasn't stopped the onslaught. Back in quickly, Berry. There's seven left in the shot clock. Kitsing thought about the three. Went for the two-point layup. That was a very good offensive rebound temporarily by Nurga, but he couldn't bring it through. And Zubcic has instead, and he has scored.
Still a 10 point advantage despite the unhappiness of Kalev's coach, Roberts Stelmars. It's from Latvia. Short layup by Kitsing for Berry. Berry back inside the paint. He's picked out Rana Nurga. Oh, he should have scored that. And maybe in his mind, it was already two points Stevenson, but ball wouldn't drop. Bounced off the back of the rim and back. That's a bit of a let off for the Turkish side. Did the double in 99 and 2000 as the three point try is attempted by Zubcic. Almost ended up in the seats. Berry. Berry going on. And Berry drawing the foul. It'll be. Two attempts at the free throw line for Kalev. Very well engineered. Fouled by Zubcic. It's gone against the Wulu. It's his third foul, and he is in serious foul trouble now. He's out, Casey Shepard is on. Ten points between them, and Berry scores the first. And that's the second. Berry now with five points tonight. And unlike the cup final of the weekend, they've spread the scores around really well. Eight for Melson, four for Lewis, four for Berry it is. What looked like a three-pointer as uh, knocked down as a two. Has been scored well by Jeremy Soons. He doubles his score. Now he's got four, top pass of 24. Davion Berry taking his time and biding it well. That's broken up what was a promising looking attack for Caleb once more. Needless foul, tough Ash will resume from the sideline, the offensive foul against Ranunurga. Topash allowed no more fouls, by the way, they four in this quarter, Caleb of three, chance of the three-pointer from Ewan Arslan! Oh, yes! What a score! So quick, so swift, swift of thought, great accuracy. Comeback's on, comeback is well on. Got the margin down to seven now. Elgin Cook had drawn the foul. A bit messy. Kurbas and Murphy in for Nurga and Halle. And Nurga has a third foul called against him. Again, it's happened. And that's two in the matter of what, 20 seconds, and a chance for three! And Tarfash are well on the way back now! A brilliant score by Casey Shepard! It's his first three-pointer of the night! They've scored successive three-pointers, and they've brought it back to a four-point game. One dribble here, big guys. One step and go back. Aggressive through the screen.
five play screen for four, get open pass, see ball, play it's this time. Kurvas cut, pass for penetration. Immediately spread the floor. If they recover, watch outside pass for shot. Yeah? One minute. Yeah. Well, whether it's a travelling contingent or whether it's expats who are somewhere in the Tallinn region or a quick flight away. Ball's not very, very far away. Uh, all balls to the same time zone. But the international direct flight should be from Istanbul. Here's Dorbe. Brand new airport as well. They passed through it a couple of weeks ago. Coming back from a different sporting event. Short for Kamari Murphy. This is Silas Melson. And Melson with a chance to keep going. Shot clock winding down. They've got to go for it now. And the attempt by Dorbeck was missed anyway. Don't be shooting with one second to go. Yeah, I think that's good advice. It's not the occasion that Caleb were hoping for. When they were putting their calendars together at the start of this season, they were hoping that there would still be European qualification riding in this and that they might be top of the group. It's not turned out that way at all. Didn't qualify for last season's Champions League. But they did through the qualifiers, and you should have seen the crowds in the qualifiers in the stadium. Full house for the wins over Sporting Club de Portugal, Mornar of Montenegro, and also Juventus of Lithuania. Kamari Murphy battling, jousting, struggling. He was seriously hoping for the foul, didn't get it. Played back in to Kegor Hermet by Martin Durbeck, who's on it now. Hermet again, went for it, missed it. And shot clock had wound down. Well, that's two attacks in a row. Two offensive spells where they've gone right down to the buzzer. So that's a blocking well, it had been a 12-point game, it's a four-point game now. And that's good news for the side from the Turkish Super League. Subchic, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And it's a 13 points to three run for Topaz now. Look at that, they've got it down to a single point. Brilliant three-pointer. And that's three three-pointers in a row they've scored. The last three scores in the entire match have been Topaz three-pointers. Subchich, brilliant. He's got eight points now. Brilliant run for Tofash. It'll be interrupted for the moment. Should Melson get these? And he's got the first. Every foul from now on from Tofash punished from the free throw line. Melson now on nine points. Two out of two. Melson hits ten points tonight. The first player in the game to do so. The lead is back to three. The second foul against Newitz. And a quick break, and it is there by Melson. Gets the dunk, gets the distinctive advantage back again for Caleb Kramer. 12 points tonight. That's why he's top scored in so many of their big marquee games this season. Brought away the defensive rebound by Kamari Murphy. This time they're going to run the clock down a bit. Lead is five. This for a bit more. Aleo! Kamari Murphy! It's his low round here. And that's his first score of the night. He's just come from the free Praport Skyliners. 
had been at Oklahoma State. And Miami, Florida. Tofash had got it down to a solitary point, but that foul gives possession back again. That was just great, just brilliant. Lewis with a set up, and Murphy put it away. Jaquan Lewis, very decent assist, and now a chance for three. And the attempt missed by Hermit, but the foul claimed right beneath the basket. Kamari Murphy's really got stuck in now. Musin Yasa with the foul. It's his second personal foul. So from the free throw line, Kamari Murphy after that excellent. Duck a few moments ago. Gets his first on the free throw line and one to come. Oh, he's missed that one though. The lead remains the same. Still 12 seconds left in the shot clock. Kalev Kramo has had to go up a gear. It's worked for the Melson, gonna get out wide for Dorbeck. Now there's three seconds left, they're gonna shoot. No success, rebounds quickly to Kurbas. They'll run the clock down here. They'll hope to score as well, that wasn't it. Kalev Kramo lead by eight points at half time. They led at one stage by 12, and then it was whittled away. It was like the cup final all over again. It was going badly wrong, three three-pointers in a row for Tofas, but then Kalev pushed away again, and at half time, Kalev Kramo 41, Tofas Bursa 33. <laughs> It's been an interesting one so far, there's no doubt about that. So far, I haven't been going for two-pointers as much, but how about that? Five three-pointers out of ten to date. And the three in a row to get them right back into the game. They were a point down at one stage, but now they trail at eight at half-time in Tallinn. And it's Kalev Kramer who have the advantage over Tofash by 41 to 33. Melson, the only player to hit double figures so far, he's on 12. And slightly concerning for them, the fact that nobody else has really backed him up in terms of the scoring chance, and that is what happened to them in the cup final. But they lead here at half time. Seitse punkti juurde 
viie punkti pealt on Casey Shepard ja teistel on juba, juba vähem. Meie poole pealt vaatajad kõige suuremaks viski kauniks on meil olnud ja see on loomulikult Silas Meltsan, kes on väga hea soos, 12 punkti on tema fotopeel ja üle punktid on meil tagasi võrdselt ära jaotunud nimelt 4-3-2. Neile punkti peal Nii Tanel Kulbas, Davion Berry, Chikwan Lewis, kolme punkti peal on siis Kemari Murphy, Eges Hall, Christian Kitsing, Raul Rulger ja Oyars Silic. Ja kaks punkti on Kristjan Kangur kirja saanud, nii et tegelikuses pea terve meeskond. Vaatame siis prosentist jälle, kahe punkti viskeid. Tomas visanud sisse, seitse tükki visanud, nad on kokku 13, nii et prosent on 53. Me ei ole me kahe punkti visetes, 19 korda proovinud, 12 korda tabanud, prosent on 63. Täpselt pooled see on 50 protsenti. Me ei ole me lasud teele üheks, aga kolme punkti viset. Tabanud on nendest kaks, mis tähendab, et protsent on tagasi olid ikka 22. Vaba visete poole pealt tohvas visanud neid 64 protsent on 66. Me ei ole me saanud vaba visket tunduvad rohkem visata. Lausa 13, millest on tabanud 11, protsent on kõrvige 84. Nii et jah, võib öelda, et siis esimesele poole järgselt Tohvase viske tavamus 52 ja meil on 50, nii et suhteliselt võrrud, et me oleme saanud lihtsalt natuke rohkem viskeid ja... What a finish to the third quarter in Clues! Wow, how big will that end up being? Need to work fast. The pass to Gankiewicz. Oh goodness me! The two-handed rim rocker. Game clock and the shot clock is probably now moves up to 15 points, but Mike probably will. Well, what a pass in the lane! That is B E A beautiful pick and roll that between Ian Hama and Nikos Papas. Evaristo. They're not going to stand around. They're going to push you quickly. And it goes to Eric. Look out! Oh! The hammer! He gets it for Riley. He doesn't have time. He puts it up. He lost his head. Yes! Unreal! Ike are out. And Vepriga has stunned Treviso at the buzzer. Wow! Meil oli helgisel nõlla vaevselt siin päris kõva madin käimas Tartus. Palju ette Petsa Kalev Kramik Pänni, et olid ka seal koha peal olemas ja saime siis mängida nii karika finaali kui ka superkarika. Ja olid tõesti väga vinged mängud meil seal. Ja peal ütlema, et vaatasin nii noolemate tülukute kui ka poiste mänge ja on meie peateeneril, rahvuskoondse peateeneril Jukka Toijalal siin kindlasti tükki tööd, et leida need õiged terakesed sõkaldest, sest valikud on tal ikkagi vägagi palju. Seal oli suurepärased etteasteid, väga tublisid nooli mängijad, kes siis on üsna pea vallutamas teel ka võiks mitte siia samasse meistri liiga nii öelda jõuvatsumustele ja ütle teile ausalt, et Eesti kornpail on praeguse hetkel sellises seisus, kus tõesti väga häid noori mängijaid on tulemas peale ja neid on ka meil tegelikult siin samas juba olemas mängimas on nad siis üle terve 
üle terve maailma kuni siis Arizona sõni välja, nii et mitte teile ausalt, et päris hea oli kohe olla seal ja vaadata kõike seda, mis toimus ja ja mida sai kõike seal nii aga näha, nii et kui on võimalus siis alati käigelt toetamas tukisid noori korv pallure, kõrates siin meil olid siin U16, U18, U19 poisid ja tõnukud mängimas ja see toetus on tähtis selleks, et Eesti koolipall paremeks ja läheks muud kui ainult paremeks ja paremeks. Seni sordum yıldızlara, bir de baktım yakama o zaman Yine düştüm yangınlara, ama yoksun yanımda Vuruyor bir de anılar yar, ölüm gibi Yine çıksam yollarıma
tundu vet sa mõtli praegu sama Ma tundu vet sa lagi liiga madal Ma olen tundu vet ma hõile Ma sulle tundu vet ma lama Ma arust ära So the final night of Group F in this Basketball Champions League. Tofash Bursa have already won the group. They're already on the way to the last 16. Strasbourg and Estenda heading to the play-ins. Kalev Kramo heading out. So away we go. Second half, third quarter underway. Tofash Bursa had a really good comeback in that second quarter and then it just fell away quite a bit, but this is a good way to get it running again through Elgin Cook. We're down to six points again, and Cook has got six points tonight. Leaders roll Cook 12 points against the Stender in their opener. Seven last time out. 15 in the slender two point win away at Strasbourg, which was a real belter. 76 74. And right on the end of the shot clock, Kitsing missed, but Damian Berry hasn't. Spectacular for two. Here's Tanishan for Topaz Borsa. He's come through towards Jeremy Simmons. This is Paco Cruz. It's a short one for Cook again. Good score by Elgin Cook. And he's made it a six point game again. Two of the first three scores from him right at the start of this third quarter. And it's the sort of momentum that Topaz. Really do need that was out, and that will be a tough ass ball as well. Kitsing let it fly out of his hands, and tough might make Caleb pay a bit here. Paco Cruz hanging on, down to eight on the shot clock. Back towards Cruz, that was clever, and that sets the alley up up. And Jeremy Simmons puts it away. Nice score. So here's Jaquan Lewis getting it back out towards Simmons. No joy for the Latvian international who's just come from Astana. Kind of beating them recently. 85 67 in the VTP United League. And they dominated that. Simmons, lovely for two, laid it up supremely, put it home. That's eight for him. And suddenly we are down to a two point game, having started with an eight-point margin. Rewulu with the assist that time. It's set up again by Lewis, couldn't put it away. Sillings, unlucky, unfortunate on the rebound. Regained again by Uwulu, and 
and it is there and it is level. And Tanishan has scored for Tofash to tie it up at 43 43, his first score of the night. Unsurprisingly, it is Kalev's timeout. What did I say? Penetrating bad! Very completely open! Bad here, bro! Zero fools! Miss my shit, fools! Be fool! And quicker, he brings ball! Come and make the screen! Quicker, make the screen! Yeah. Set up a lot better in this third quarter half. Tofash and the frustration for Robert Stelbars in that Kalev had really good control and great momentum for the final moments before half time. Having lost momentum quite spectacularly prior to that. And they've lost it again here. It's with Tofash. 43 43. We'll level for the sixth time. So Fatsch have outscored Kalev by eight points in this third quarter. Short by Sinnings. Murphy was in support, chance for three for Kitsing, didn't put it away. Defensive rebound grabbed by Tanijan, who's all over it right now. And Sinnings as the first foul of the night called against him. Kalev haven't got anybody really in foul trouble yet. Well, Nurgis on three, and Topaz have Uwulu on three. Something for them to monitor is uh, Paco Cruz. Short for Jeremy Simmons, back for Paco Cruz again. Cruz going for three. Quick rebound off the rim, well claimed by Simmons once more. This is a whirly. Captaining well. Two points on the board. He's been pulling the strings very, very well for Borsa. Hewitt, Arslan is back in for Cruz, and that was right on the edge of the shot clock. And a decent long try, which was worth going for, frankly, by Arslan, but Hewitt, Arslan, unsuccessful. Maybe a chance for three for Kitsing. They're all going for it now, but nobody's rattling at home. And that will be a tough ass ball that was last touched by Sinich. Tanishan playing it short. Opportunities, maybe. Again for Jeremy Simmons, and Simmons laying it out well, brilliantly for Uwulu. Oh, it wouldn't drop to double his score tonight. It's in a great position, the driving layup, but just scooped out. Kamari Murphy. Travelling by. Berry, Davion Berry travelling the recent signing from Applewell. Seven recent signings for Kalev. Barry will sit down for the moment. Unfortunate, very, very unfortunate for him. He's off, Nurga back on. Travelling against Davion Berry. Back. Uwulu. Six seasons at Fenerbahce all those domestic glories and European success too. Five seasons ago, Christian Kanga with the foul. Yusin Yassar is uh, back in for Tofash Bursa in place of Jeremy Simmons. Kanga immediately in and he commits the foul. That's his first.
so Lewis to try and drive Caleb Cravo back forward again. Frustrating for them, the three-pointers that they've conceded and the ones that they've missed themselves. Corbas getting it back towards Kangaroos. Second spell with the club, the five-time Estonian League winner. And teed up well for Corbas to score. Now, Uwulu goes for the three, misses it again. He's had only one successful field goal attempt today. One out of four he's had. No success. That is first try from a three-pointer. And that's the first foul in this quarter against Tobas. Foul by Emre Tanishan. That's his first of the night. Drawn by Quan Lewis. It's with Tanel Korbas. Teed up to Lewis very well, but it was thwarted fantastically. Cook bringing it on all the way. He's missed it, but they've got three under the basket. They had to score. And Tanishan ties it up again. Seven times the scores have been tied, 3.50 to go. At the end of this third quarter, it's with Kurbas once more. No success with the effort. And play held up anyway for the shove. And the foul by Christian Kangur as he was looking to get the rebound. It's only his second personal foul of the night, but Calo Kramer won't be allowed any more in this quarter. <laughs> 39 now. <laughs> and across Europe, a seven-time league winner. He's won cups in France and Italy as well as Estonia. Brilliant veteran. And brilliant scoring from Topaz, Awolu, and they are in front again. It's only his second successful field goal of the night, but he's scored it, and Topaz are in front. And they're in front for the first time since late in the first quarter, but maybe not for long. The try for three by Dorbeck rebounds away. Very quick, clever passing. Aslan had the go, but just denied. And Cook. Nelson and Cook. It's a 
immediately calls the foul on Melson by Cook. Kramer resuming again with Martin Dorbeck in for Hermet, and he's lost out badly. Turnover at Topash now with a chance to bring it on for Elgin Cook, and he's drawn the foul now from Melson. Melson's first foul of the night, and that a reverse of the foul at the other end. Hermet lost possession, Cook drove away. <laughs> Caleb allowed no more fouls in this quarter. And there's still 2.41 to play. First scored by Cook, he's on to nine points now. And he hits double figures. First in the night to achieve that for Bursa. Four point lead for Topash. Tango using all his experience, his pan European experience to draw the foul, and Topash is third. Tried to bring us away past Hewitt Arslan and Paco Cruz. Paco Cruz, the player who had that call against him for his second foul of the night. And Arslan, who could have committed the second foul with Cruz if he got there marginally earlier. Now has his second foul anyway. So Pasha won't be allowed anymore either. That was a decent three-point try. Flicked up against the backboard again by Hermet. Caleb tried to pounce, tried to cut away the margin, but it's Topash who lead by four. We've got the right men in the right places. Paco Cruz. Looking good, Cruz, on his way. Oh! And with so little left in the shot clock and so little space for him to have a go himself, Cruz missed. Callum bringing it on, 15 left in the shot clock, and Melson, brilliant score! He added Flourish for 14 points tonight, and he's cut the score in half. Cut the lead in half, but only for seconds. Shepard's now on seven tonight, and it's a four-point game once more. Topaz go through the half-ton barrier. Nelson, good stride in towards the paint, needed help, got help. Bit of a stretch for Hermet to keep alive. Melson, three left on the shot clock. Beautiful. The pressure was on, the heat was on, and Melson stood up to it. Foot just inside, it was two. Touch the gap to two. Inside the final minutes of this third quarter. It's been gripping, it's been good. Here's Casey Shepard again. Shepard ah, tried the little nonchalant flick with his back to the basket and might have got something out of that. I'm not sure anybody touched it on the way. Meanwhile, Berk Uwulu is back in. Changes all over and Casey Shepard's gone for the moment. 
A couple of changes for Caleb Clamo. And Eget Haller, the shooting guard, is back on, and here he is. Haller, Nurga, Lewis in, Dorbeck, Kanga, Korbas out, and he saw the one change for Tufas. Brought all the way by Melson, but not all the way home, missed. Nice tight encounter this, despite Tufas already winning the group and Kalev already condemned to being bottom. That is a gorgeous score by Hewitt Arslan, a fabulous three-pointer. They are leading on threes. That's their sixth of the night. But what a response. Fantastic by Lewis. He wasn't hanging around either. So away we go again, final quarter, and a game that has been suitably gripping. Tofash lead by two. Here's back, Ulu. Looking to go all the way, potentially, right at the start of this final quarter, he almost did so. This could be even better. It is by Subcic. It's another three-pointer for him, his third of the game. He's hit double figures, he's hit 11 points now, and Topaz hits a five-point lead. That was a magnificent score, but how about that for a response? Hella, fantastic. Shades of how the third quarter ended more than shades. That is precisely how it ended. Well, we didn't have three in a row in it, and we almost did there from a whirlup. It's back to being a two-point game again. Kalev has four three-pointers so far. Top ash of seven! And that's been put away really well by Rado Nuga. And it's all tied up with eight minutes to go. 57-57, and Nurga gets his first point since the first quarter. The eighth time in the game that the sides have been level in a brilliant encounter. Come across well by Lewis, and the chance for three, not quite put away by Halle this time. But it was a good try. The 
looking around was Cook, trying to pick out the right option. They got it in the right place, all right. Fine score by Cruz. Brilliant three pointer by Cruz. So the first four field goals in this final quarter, three have been three pointers, and Lewis can't get the shot away. Brilliant contest. Another chance for three for Zubcic. Oh, yes. Fantastic score by Zubcic. He's on to 14 points. All of a sudden, he's got two three pointers in this final quarter. by Zubcic. Well, that's a brilliant tally when you think about it. They've gone for 19. Topaz Croyson got nine. Silence of the ball. Four make for Berry. Five here. Around. Come for screen and blind. Four. I just have to be quickly. Move that, come here higher, no problem, go wide. Watch, let's go uh, from opposite side. Yeah, Benny here and four is here. That's to your left, okay? Five is on this side. Go no transition, go, so go wide, see what's happening. Topash lead Kalev Kamo by six points. Brought on by Melsen, couldn't put it away, and neither on the rebound could Egan Hallett, who might have got a little clump in the mouth as he was attempting a rebound score. But right now, Nuga. Off he went, and yeah, the arm came across from Zubcic. That's a foul by him on Nurga. It's his first. Indrek Reinbuck, the assistant coach of Kalo Kramo, said that his team didn't take advantage of the opportunities given in the cup final on Sunday when they were beaten by Tartu University in the Estonian Cup final. They've got to take their chances now. And not see it slip away again. It's a four point game. Uwulu. Support from Ewan Arslan. And right down the paint, it was Simmons, but the quick turnover couldn't control it. Kitsing, quick thinking, and here come Callum Cramo again. Seven minutes remaining. It's controlled by Davion Berry. Here's the chance for three, and it was never looking straight from Egan Halle. He scored two field goals tonight, and they're both three pointers. Topaz maintaining their advantage. Five point game. Great rob. Brilliant steal by Nurga. Here come Caleb Kamo. There might have been an opportunity for Melson to steady himself and get the three point shot, but he couldn't get himself steady. Too much busyness around him. Gis Nurga. Davion Berry. Heller's got the chance of the three, and it was always looking short. Here with Arslan. Calming it down for Berk Urulu, the Tofash captain. Hello has been excellent up to that point. Davian Berry committing the foul on Zubcic, and it's Berry's first of the night. Nobody on four fouls yet on either side. Nobody 
close to the line. But here's Arslan, Ewan Arslan had the try and Ewan just couldn't quite put it away. Short one laid up by Berkowulu again and that was really good creativity. And Tafas have scored from it. Great assist, very clever. Good score by Cook. Cook now on 12 points tonight, and there may be more coming here. Back, it's short by him. Now the chance of three, not taken either. And Nurka to calm it down as tough as look to. Written themselves and written themselves of Caleb Kramer. It was a three point shot on for Berry. Played him inside for the two and got it. Very now on uh, eight points, and it's a five-point game again by 60 to 65. A good Five minutes to go, five points between them. And out of these two, who is the most physically fit, physically fit? Casey Shepard, seven points so far tonight. Got a good one teed up, and that was a nice interception by Christian Kitsing, using all his years of experience and seeing where the telegraph pass was going. Here's Jaquan Lewis, short for Kitsing again. Here's Silas Mills. Short for Berry, and it's come all the way across for Kitsing! Oh, what a score! Kitsing. Christian Kitsing, gorgeous three-pointer. That is his first of the night. He doubles his tally to six, cuts the gap to two points. It is a fifth three-pointer for Kalev tonight. Four minutes to go. Great climax coming in this, potentially, and missed by Shepard, and just drifted out of his hands as he was attempting the effort. His chance for three, and not put away by Berry, and that would have given Callum Tamo the lead, amazingly. Seven points down, a blink of an eye ago, they almost led here. Subchich, they've led for most of the night, and they've trailed for most of the second half now. Right beneath the basket, a chance of Chich. Sent tumbling, that's the foul. Nelson's foul, little tap on the shoulder. His second foul. Callum only allowed one more before we go to the free throw line. Subchich gets the first. And he's emerged well with 16 points. He and Nelson both on 16. Joint top scorers in the contest. Nelson hasn't scored in this quarter yet. They can do with that. They trail by four, do 
Caleb Crummer, and we're down to three seconds of the shot clock, and Nelson brings it on, and he's been fouled underneath the basket, and Simmons has his third foul. Simmons in the paint to Very out Kerberson, by the way, for Callum. Chance to cut the gap to two points. Davion Barry has put a lot in. Chance to get his breath back. Two big free throws coming, and Melson has the first, and he's up to 17 points. Destined to be his fourth out of the six group games in which he has been leading scorer for Caleb. Oh, he's got both. Good scoring. Nailed every free throw he's had so far. 18 points in the game, he's top scorer overall. Only twice has Nelson scored higher than that in the group stage this season as Beck goes for another one and he misses out. Lewis denied! What an interception! It's Elgin Cook trying to go all the way and taken out by Melson. Now, it was strong. That's his third foul, and hopefully for him, it won't be called as anything stronger than that. be allowed any more fouls either and that was obviously in the paint too and the first is missed from the free throw line Elgin Cook has missed the first that's got some people happy it's got some people in their Christmas jumpers happy got the second Cook on 13 points and a kind of a professional foul which paid off it would have been two for Cook surely but instead he was bundled out of the way in a, in a subtle fashion, not in an unsportsmanlike foul way. Chapas got the one point instead of the two. Well, that was right on the edge of heavy illegality. He uh, got away with it, just got the foul called against. That's bounced off him as well. Melson on three fouls now, and Nurga three from a Caleb point of view. And for Tofas Bursa, three for Uwulu. Three for Simmons. Great rob by Lewis, he's on the way. Nice tee up, and there you have it. To Murray Murphy. It's down to a one point game again. Great set up, and the dunk fabulous by Kamari Murphy. It's down to one. And top ass press up, call the timeout. Come get him again. We are playing. We are playing just here. Just here. They are, they focus him. That's why. We, let's use him. Let's use him. Guys, coach, coach us away. You, you don't need to go even vertical. Roll down and then create this space. And why we don't run back after this? He, he stays alone. If you can roll, uh, Jeremy, who is the first screener? Even you, we will, we will black it. Black defense. Let's go. No nii, hea publik, nüüd on vaja küll võtta. Kõik, mis võtta annab, sest kaks minutit ja 25 sekundit on jäänud. Oleme vaid punktiga maas ja nüüd teie abiga võtame ära selle võidu täna siin taaskord. Selle sama Toffasjui klubi üle, nii et pange jalad, käed käima ja elage kaasa. Aitame Peetse Kõlem Draama võidule. So into the final straight, and Tafash still lead by one. Remember, their only defeat so far 
this season of the Basketball Champions League has come against Caleb Grammer. And it came in Turkey. Subject short foot back again. Turnover. It's only three and a half left in the shot clock. Stel Myers will appreciate that. They've lost three of the last four matches in all competitions, Caleb. Three of the last eight going further back in time. Jacon Lewis going to short up Kitsing. Kitsing still going, was he fouled? He was out. Good attempt. But it is a toughest ball with one minute 49 remaining. It's with back Urlu. Short for Paco Cruz. Here's a chance for three, which it's a bit early for it to be a clincher, but certainly would have been a little bit of insurance for Tofash had that been put away. Excellent attempt at a three-pointer, but not excellent enough. From Subcic. Melson set things running with a defensive rebound, and it's there by Melson. And Caleb Cramo lead with 75 seconds to go. He's hit 20 points. He's the first tonight to do that. It's going to be four games in which he's top scorer. They've only won one today. Maybe they'll win this. It would be remarkable if they did the double over the group winner and they finish bottom. But Tofash are back in front again through Jeremy Simmons. Ten points for Simmons. And what a crucial time to do it. Less than a minute to go. The assist by Paco Cruz. It's Caleb's timeout now. Seconds remaining, one point between them. When they met in Turkey in Bursa, in week two, it was a four point victory for Caleb Drama. First ever meeting between these two sides. Lewis shot for Kitsing, it's brought home well by Kurbas, couldn't put it away. Kitsing now, maybe for three. He's missed it with 41 seconds remaining. Topaz rebounding a Topaz lead by one. That would have been the lead for Caleb by two. Merka Urlu, they can run the clock down a bit here. Three pointer would be so valuable in this stage. Two wouldn't be bad either. And it's been missed by Simmons. And Caleb get the defensive rebound quickly. 14 seconds to go. It's been brought on by Melson. Melson again, seven to go. Melson, has he got the chance for the shot? There's the chance for the shot. Foul for two. Three seconds remaining. And the chance of the match winner here. It's Simmons fourth foul. Cook was in there as well. So, Melson gets the first, and it is all square. And 
this. Potentially to win it. Melson. No, he hasn't. But here's the rebound for Melson. Is he fouled again? I think he is. He is. Simmons with the foul last time. Half a second to go. Incredible. And I think it was Cruz. It was Cruz. This is it. He's asked for the review. Tough ass, obviously, at this stage, allowed no fouls anyway, but it was in the paint, that foul. Great opening, great chance. He had two attempts at it, did Melson. Driven away, then the foul called. That one against Cruz. There's still 1.5 uh, left in the clock, so that's... Whether it's uh, wrong or right, that's surely what the clock will be wound back to anyway. It seemed very similar, I thought, to the Simmons one earlier, but we'll see. Either it's two shots for Caleb to win it, or it's surely overtime. had the agony on Sunday of seeing his side turned over in a massive upset in the cup final and now two seconds left on the clock to win it Melson he's got the first of them he's hit 22 points <laughs> Tofash still have two seconds to try and snatch it back. Melson to make it a two-point lead. He has got it. He has got it. Timeout obviously called. Two seconds for Tofash to save themselves tonight. They've won the group, don't worry about that. It's Strasbourg against the Stender next. Okay, uh, Marco, you take the ball out back here. Come for this, uh, okay, ball is this side, this side. Elgin, like our one, you cut over, but Zuba, come for shot. At the same time, Elgin, big big to big big to him. One time I write down in the practice, remember? Paco, take the ball out. Okay. Zuba, Jeremy, Sigrid, cut here. Watch him. But direct the big big man, Zuba, cup. Watch this, and now watch this just back. Let's go. It has been a fabulous contest. It's been a real thriller, it's been edge of the seat stuff. And with two seconds to go, we still can't be certain. Whether it swings one way or the other, or if it goes into overtime. So here we go, 
two seconds and that's it. Cruz with the ball and they must score. Cruz laying it up, chance for three to win it! And it's been missed! Subchich couldn't put it away! Despite scoring four three-pointers tonight! The fifth one drops! And Caleb Kramer have done the double of a Tofas Bursa, but Tofas have lost the battle and won the war. They win the group. Caleb finished bottom. Caleb Kramer 72, Tofas Bursa 70. contest what a finish and what a comeback too you have to say by Caleb Cramo who trailed in that final quarter quite considerably six points down they trail until the final three successful shots of the free throw line out of four by Silas Melton he top scores on 23 Subchich top scores for Tofash on 16, but if only it was 19 for their point of view, but they have won the group. And they are so appreciative of the fans who've travelled to Talent tonight. They've travelled to this stadium at least. They, they, they could live here, of course. But they really appreciated that support. Some countries don't allow away support. At the moment, Kalev Kramo beat Tofash by 72 to 79 three-pointers for Tofash that's brilliant but it had to be 10 to win Kalev Kramo rebounding excellently as well Melson with 23 points and only his 24 in the victory in Turkey over Tovash by four points. Has seen him better that in Europe this season. Zubcic top scoring with 16 for Tovash. Cook 13, Cruz 10. And that a memorable win for Kalev Kramo. But they still finish bottom of the group. It's 20 points each, by the way, in France between Sig, Strasbourg and Estenda in the other game in this group. That to the side, who finishes second, but this was brilliant. Thank <laughs> you. 